Hello everyone! Today we will be doing a density experiment and I hope that you're as excited as I am. So let's get it started. So for today's experiments, the supplies that we're going to need are four clear glasses, as you can see, some post-it notes so we can name each one and we don't get confused. We will also need for inside one filled with a teaspoon or a, yeah, I think it would be a teaspoon of sugar. I use brown sugar today. If you have white sugar, that would be better. A teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of baking soda. And just one glass of water, nothing else. That's gonna be the one that we're gonna compare to, okay? All right, now the other things that we're gonna need are four grapes. As you can see, for light grapes, so they can test the they can test the density of each cup. All right. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna fill each glass with water, right? So we're gonna have some water here. Try not to spill like I did. I'll be back. Let me get some more water. And just fill them up. You don't have to fill them up the whole way. Just... Alright, that'll do. So, we have them filled up as we can see. Now, now that we have each glass filled up and each one has a different thing inside, we're going to mix them so that the whole mixture is completely mixed so that all parts of the water contain that mixture. So this one's going to have brown sugar. Now we're going to mix the salt to make salt water as in the ocean. Good about when you put salt in water is that it can really like become part of the mixture so easily and as you can see I had put a lot of salt and you can barely see it now it's kind of become part of the water and you can see the little particles going around the water which are the little particles of salt okay we're gonna leave this one here this one has baking soda let me add just a little bit more. All right. We have baking soda. And that one's just water. All right, so I went down and got some Allen too, so we can test them out because of their density. So I think we're ready to go. So the first thing that we're gonna try is the sugar. Now sugar is not as known as salt water to be as dense. So let's see what happens. I cut the grape in half too because the whole grape, the ones that I have were pretty big and pretty dense, so they didn't pretty they didn't work that well. So I'm gonna put it first in. As you can see, it went right down. Alright, so that shows the, the water, the sugar water is not as dense. You can try with an almond too. And to the floor too. I don't know if you can see it. There we can see the almond. All right. Now we're gonna go with the salt water. Actually, let's do the salt water last. I wanna see, I wanna show you guys how that works. So the second one that we're gonna do is baking soda. So we're gonna put a grape in. All right, it's not that well mixed. Give me a second. That's the bad thing about the baking soda, it just goes down so easily. All right, so it kind of went down, but very slowly. If we mix it a little bit more and put the baking soda up, it stays up. So the water is more dense than the sugar water, but it's still not as dense to keep it up. So we're gonna keep this one here. Now we're gonna use 
the normal water. We're gonna put a grape. Of course, it's just water. As dense as water should be, the grape goes down, the grape has more density than the actual water. And lastly, let me mix it up all in here again. Now I'm gonna put in my grape. So you can see. And look at that. The grape stays up, floating. Do you see that? All right. So now we've seen that we have sugar water, baking soda water, normal water, and salt water, as in the ocean. Now, sugar water, not dense, pretty much kind of like water. Baking soda, the grape went down slow, slowly, but still wasn't as dense to keep it up. Normal water went down. The grape is still more dense than the actual water, so it went down. Now salt water, the grape is still floating. Now let's think back to a very cool phenomenon that we have in the world, such as the Dead Sea. So the Dead Sea is right by Israel, and this is a part of the world. This is a, a sea that is so salty, like the salt in the water it's in such high quantities that there's no fish. No fish can live there. It, no sharks or anything like that. There's really no animals in there. And the people that go there actually can float in the water. So as a comparison to other places in the world where you go to the ocean and you can float if you go up and hold your air. And if you try and do it, you can float for a while. This place, the Dead Sea, just naturally makes you float. It's kind of it's kind of weird to even stand. It's so salty that the actual salt water is more dense than your actual body. That way you float up. That's why this little grape, if we were there, that would be us. If we were in the Dead Sea and we were somewhere where we can't touch the, the ground, it'd be, fast, it'd be easier for us to float than to sink. So, Today we learned about the densities of the water. Different things have, different types of waters have different densities. And that's what allows the objects to float or sink. So what I want you guys to do is try and do this experiment. Stay careful with it. Try not to use glass cups because you can cut yourself in case it falls. Try and keep it with plastic cups. And I want you to see how really interesting it is how things float or sink based on their density. And try and tell your parents about how density works. So I want you to try it at home. Tell me how it goes. Write in the comments how you like the experiment. And we hope to see you soon here in ILS Science National Honor Society. Thank you for watching.